If your water softener or water filtration equipment springs a leak or malfunctions, what would you do? You know, you wake up in the middle of the night, you hear water running, you rush downstairs, maybe you see some equipment leaking, or maybe you just hear water running through your equipment and it seems to be running for a very long period of time. What should you do? I mean, uh, it's the middle of the night, you wanna get back to sleep, but you gotta deal with this, otherwise you know you'll never be able to sleep. Well, I'm gonna to explain to you right now what you should do, what you definitely shouldn't do, and why. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and uh, I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Well, what you're probably thinking is, well, I'll just unplug it. Well, unfortunately, that's the wrong thing to do. And let me explain to you why. I've got a few pieces of equipment here behind me, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each one of them into a regeneration cycle. And uh, with this Hume Water Care clack valve water, this is an FOB. Um, you hold the button down for five seconds and it starts up. And, uh, and this is a backwashable filter. The valve's a little bit different, it has three buttons on the top. So you push the up and the down button together and that starts it up. And uh, this is an Excel Soft water softener. And you just turn the valve and that starts up. And then uh, this is an Aquamaster water softener. So I'm going to put all of these in a regeneration cycle. And you can hear that when each of them starts up, you can hear a motor running, right? And that's the valve moving to a different position. So I'm going to make sure they're all in the back or in the regeneration mode. Okay, it's there. So let's say you unplugged each one of these. I've got them all hooked into the same power bar and I'll switch them off. What do you hear? Absolutely nothing, right? So the valves are stuck in the same position. So if you were, all these equipment was a backwashing and you went downstairs and something wasn't right, you have to fix something and you unplugged it, they're gonna keep backwashing. And uh, it could be five or six or eight gallons per minute flow rate. So if you do the math, eight gallons per minute times four hours or five hours or something like that, you'd be going through a huge amount of water. So Unplugging it definitely is not the, the right solution. The right solution is uh, bypassing each of them and that'll stop, uh, that'll stop the flow. So this is what it sounds like when water's running through a water softener or backwashable filter. And then when you bypass it, you can hear the sound stops immediately. Pretty much every water softener built in the last 20 years and installed in the last 20 years has a built-in bypass. So um, like take this uh, Hume Water Care water softener that has the clack valve. So it has uh, these two valves on the top, two red arrows. It's really simple. You just turn it so the points, the two arrows point toward each other. It's the same with the three button valve. That's exactly the same. And with this XL Soft, again, you can see the, the red um, valves here. You just turn them so they face each other. And now no water will run through these units. So like I say, if there was a leak or something just wasn't right that would shut off the water flow, you can go back to bed and don't worry about it. Aquamaster or Water Boss water softeners are easy to bypass. You just pop off the lid and, uh, and then this is the bypass valve here. Right now it's in service. You see this arrow here on service. You just turn it over here to bypass. Now no water will pass through the water softener and you're good to go. Now there are some water softeners out there, older installations uh, typically that don't have a bypass built into the water softener. So they have a three-way plumbing bypass built around them. And I have another video that I'll put a link to in the description down below or the card up above that'll explain that whole process. And you might have to check that out for yours. Since we're talking about water softeners, Click up here to go to my next video on water softeners. Some great information there. And by the way, I'd really appreciate it if you do have any questions about water softeners, put it in the comments down below. I read every comment and I'd love to respond to yours.